And today, oh man, we've got some new arcade machines to check out from my arcade. Aw, oh, yes! And I just love these things because they look just like the old arcade games, only, uh, smaller. <laughs> All right, so this time we have three more to look at. And the first one is good old Pac-Man. We've got Galaxian. And the third one is Caveman Ninja, which I'm not too familiar with. So let's go ahead and we'll start with Pac-Man because, well, we all know what Pac-Man is. Yeah. And just look at this box. Oh, super cool. We've got the ghost monster over here. On this side, we've got Pac-Man. On this side, oh, it tells you about the game's history. Oh, check that out. That's a nice little bonus. I don't remember the last ones having that. And then on the back, we have all the features that you can find within the game. Oh, great. So let's take this one out and take a look at it. And yes, look at that. It's Pac-Man, but the old style Pac-Man like I remember. Oh, look at that. The old artwork is awesome. We've got the old arcade cabinet artwork on both sides of this machine, and that looks great. And on top here, we've got the joystick artwork. We've got the artwork around the screen itself. We've got this panel here. We've got the coin slot down below, which looks great. But if we're gonna play this one, we're gonna have to turn this one around and open up the battery case. Well, it's a good thing old Puppet Steve comes equipped with them. Yeah. All right, what's getting all the batteries in place? It's time to close this bad boy up and press this button here so we can start the game. Ha, oh, yes, and look at that, it's Pac-Man. Oh, just check out the controls here. We've got a reset button, which resets the game. We've got a start button, which starts the game. And then we've got the joystick so we can fly around the screen. All right, Pac-Man, go! Get those power pellets. Oh, right, there we go. Ha ha, time to get the Ghostbusters. Yeah, take that. Whoops, oh, he turned back. Ah, oh, time to get out of here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, woo, I nearly missed that. Ha ha, time to get another power pellet. Oh, and the chasey becomes the chaser. Oh, look at that, I can get all of them now. Almost, couple more. Oh no, ah, poop, I died. Ah, done a Pac-Man. Boy, you just gotta love old Pac-Man because it's one of the classics made into a tabletop version of this awesome arcade game. Well, since old Puppet Steve died here, it's time to check out the game of Galaxian. Aw, oh, yes. And of course, that's the cool ship from the game, the Galaxian game. Ooh, cool, and there's the bug on the side. And on this side, it tells us a little bit of the game's history. Oh, that's cool, awesome. And then on the back, Yep, same thing. We've got all kinds of features that uh, this arcade game includes. Ooh, and check it out. Here we are, the Galaxian Arcade Cabinet. We've got the joystick artwork on the side. We've got the side cabinet artwork. And on the front here, we have the sticker that we can peel off so we can play the game. All right, time to put in four more batteries in this arcade cabinet. Close this up. And we have ourselves some Galaxian, which is kind of like Space Invaders, but uh, only just a little bit different. Oh man, this brings back memories where you're flying a spaceship, trying to shoot down enemies that are coming down and trying to kill you. Ooh, almost. Get him, get him, get him. Ha, I'll teach you to fly down that puppet steep. Oh, I got it, you stupid aliens. Ugh. All right, done the last four. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, God, got it! I had four aliens left to kill! Ugh. Well, at least when you put it side by side with the Pac Man arcade game, these things are awesome! Ha! <laughs> We've got our mini arcade going too! Gotta love that! Alright, the last arcade game we have here is Caveman Ninja! And, uh, hmm, I'm not too familiar with that game, but looks like we've got the caveman down here, we've got some flowers over here, and on this side, we've got the game history. Let's check this out because I'm not too familiar with it. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. This is also called Joe and Mac? Oh, yeah, I know them. Ha! <laughs> no wonder I didn't recognize the name Caveman Ninja. Huh. It's because I recognize this game as Joe and Mac. Ha! <laughs> All right, so here we have the super cool arcade game here. We've got the joystick art right there. We've got the side cabinet art here. And of course, there's Joe and Mac, the two cavemen. Ah, oh, neato. And of course, on top, we've got the Data East logo. Man, this looks super cool. All right, there we go, Caveman Ninja. Oh, and look at this game. We've got two buttons here and a start and reset button too. Neato. So let's get this one going to see what this is all about. Oh, 
Oh, cool, this one's a side-scroller with all kinds of bushes to kill. Uh, dinosaurs coming at you? Oh, man, this is getting crazy. And ooh, look at that big old dinosaur. What is this, Kidman Ninja or uh, Jurassic Park? <laughs> ah, take that, silly dinosaur. Ugh. Boy, I wish Chris Pratt was here. Maybe he could help me with this guy. Oh, doggone it, I died. <laughs> oh, man, stupid dino killed me. Put these games together, and man, we've got a little mini arcade going. Oh, I love it. And these things look great together, especially if we include some of the other arcade games we reviewed last time. Oh, look at that. I absolutely love what my arcade is doing here, especially with all the side art on these cabinets. I mean, the attention to detail is amazing. I'm so glad they released a second wave of these things, because, well, we need more of them. And I would just love to see other classic games like Food Fight, Jungle Hunt, and more. And the best thing about these arcade cabinets is they're about the same size of your DC action figures. Ha <laughs> ha! Pew 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 Hey, Batman, you almost done there? I want to play next. Sorry, I'm on level 18,000. What? How do you do that on one quarter? Because I'm Batman. All right, kids. Well, there's a new line of my arcade micro player cabinets. If you want some for your very own, I've seen these things pop up at Walmarts, Best Buys, and more. So make sure you check them out.